Happy Thursday, Print Fame. Last night I kept thinking tomorrow was Friday, but it's not. We're gonna start the Konica. We've got thousand business cards total to do, and then 400 flyers. So we're gonna get those going so we can get them done and delivered and off the plate, hopefully paid. Um, yeah. So let's get started. All right, Print Fam. As I said in my Instagram post yesterday, the main focus of the vlog today is to talk about the Duplo. So here's a quick rundown of what I have. So this is the Duplo DC616. My version is called the Pro. I think that's because it comes with a perforator as well as a license key to run the software. There might be a few slight other differences, but I don't know what they are. So very simplistic approach to this machine is you can program these slitters to adjust to whatever width of media. I think they will do as small as about two inches up to just the full page. It's got six slitters total. And then you've got a cutter and then a creaser. So that way you can slip, cut, and crease through this one machine. This is the input tray. I think it'll accept up to four inches. Um, it adjusts up and down. You can adjust um, like the belt grabbing, which is this guy right here. You can adjust based off of the paper. You do have a few knobs over here. This is the air strength. This is the gap. So right, let's see if I can get this thing right here goes up and down with this knob. So based off of the height of the knob, then you can adjust that. And then you've got a skew knob. So you can adjust this, which right now it's just straight. But if I twist this, you can see that it's gonna move the machine. So that if it's feeding paper funny, then you can straighten it. I've also got a ruler right here, so if you're using this to set your like, program, then it makes it really convenient so that you can use your cut marks, so you can set the lead trim, you can set the width, length, etc. But load the media in. I have mine adjusted to already fit 12 by 18. These are just some generic stops that it comes with. It's got a business card to catch tray, another bigger stop, and a few more things down there that I've never opened. So, um, the main reason why I went with the Pro version was because of the software. It makes it really, really simple and easy to program. At this point, I program it in the other room, my team viewer into this machine, and when I set up my Impose, it gives me the lead trim and the side trim and the sizes. So it makes it super slick and easy to program the cutter and make sure that my impose is within the cutter specs. Because sometimes, depending on the size, you can't do three millimeters between each or you can't do five. You have to do a specific number um, for like the end one or something. And so it makes it really easy to know, okay, is my impose template programmable for the Duplo. The other reason why I really like using Impose is you can put barcodes on it. And the reason I like this, now if it was just me running it, it wouldn't be a big deal. And right now it is just me running it. But it takes away the guesswork if I'm having an employee do it or say I want to have my neighbor come work for me or something like that. It makes it really simple that they don't have to guess, they don't have to question they can run it through. You can have them check it. If it looks good, run the rest of them. There's no need to be skilled other than the initial setup, which is why like, you can get cheaper machines. This, I think all in was like $25,000. 
they have a new model, which made me sad because it came out like a month or two after I bought this one. That has even more bells and whistles for the same price. I think it's the 618, but don't quote me on that. But I, I love this machine. It is slow. They do have a bigger model that's faster. I think it's the DC... I don't know. I'm not even going to try. I don't remember. It's bigger, faster. For my needs, this works. I'm not a super busy print job. I wish I was more busy. But I love the automation involved. Because while you could take this stack of business card sheets. So there's 24 sheets here. You could take this. Take it to a stack cutter. You'd be, not, you'd be done way faster than the Duplo. But I can load this in the Duplo and walk away. And i that's what I love. I love the fact that I can say, okay, my stack thing will hold 13 sheets of business cards. Cut 13 sheets and stop. So that I know when it stops, come empty the tray, put them in the box, etc. Or if you were actively monitoring or actively printing, then it makes it really simple. It's like, oh, every few minutes, just come grab a stack and set it on the cutter. Um, it's got a bin here at the bottom, which it's almost full. It's garbage day tomorrow. So it just catches all the straps, straps, not straps. And I just dump them in the recycling. It's really the garbage. I don't have recycling. I should, but I don't. Um, so yeah, that's really the nuts and bolts of it. Let me show you a couple features that are helpful. So when the software is open and connected, you cannot use the controls on the machine itself. Um, but like in this case where it's like, I know I'm only doing business cards, I could turn off the barcode and it would run a little bit faster. Um, you can come up here and it will load all your saved jobs so that you could manually pick one if you wanted to rather than using the barcode. I'm not going to. Um, you can go in the wizard and create a new program. So it lets you set the size of the sheet, it lets you set the width, the gutters, all that fun stuff. Um, it does have a log that you can look up. You can save the file. So if you had another machine, you could send it to that machine. Um, as far as like business cards, where it uses the business card tray, um, a lot of times I mess up the spacing on it. And so you can do this stack setup, which I'll do that right now. So we'll hit the T for test. I think it's test anyway. So it's gonna run one sheet. Feeds it in, it's gonna scan the barcode, make sure it's right, then scan the registration mark to adjust the blades if it needs to to compensate for being misaligned in the cutter itself. But now it's gonna stop. So it stops right here so that you can adjust these, and the way you adjust them, I thought it would stop, but it's not going to. You want the business card to hit just the top here so it will fall into place. So you want to make sure that every single one will just barely hit to fall into place. And then you hit the T again. Up here. So before I do all of the printing, even if I've used the template all the time, I like to print one sheet and cut one sheet. And so that's what I'm doing, is making sure that everything is still correct because I don't want to print 25 sheets, go to cut them and it'd be wrong. Don't have to do it. Um, I think now that, um, and this is a tip that I gave the other day, now that I've set my fire to millimeters and used full millimeters, so um, 
before when this was in inches, this was like one and a quarter inches or something, but that equated to like 16.2355 millimeters. And so now that I've gone in and said, okay, this is 14 millimeters and this is six millimeters or whatever it really is. I don't know what it is. I still need to get better at judging millimeters versus inches. Um, it's changed everything because now it's not an approximate because the Duplo uses millimeters. It's an exact. So being able to set that and control that has been night and day different. So probably at this point, I wouldn't need to print one, cut one. Um, right now, because I'm smaller and slower, I'm probably gonna still keep that workflow just because it works for me. Um, but yeah, that's a big tip that I would do. Change your fiery to match whatever your cutting system is. And in my case, it's millimeters. So it's been, it's been awesome. Um, so I highly recommend this machine. It's been great for my print shop. And it's basically like an employee that I don't have to pay again. Occasionally have to buy a breakfast so that it can be tuned up or whatnot. It is covered for at least a year under warranty. I've had to have the tech cab come out one time um, for that weird noise and he checked everything and oiled it up and everything's been fine since. So, um, would I buy it again? Absolutely. Will it last me forever? Probably not, might need to upgrade. But for my print shop, got a phone call, got interrupted. Anyway, for me, right now, it's great and it probably will be for quite a few years. So that's the duper. All right, guys, I am out for the second time today. I went and made some deliveries, went to the post office, got back and I had to do a rush order that needed to be overnighted to Florida. I don't think it's gonna make it overnight. And I couldn't get a hold of my customer to swap to UPS rather than USPS uh, because I quoted them Priority Mail Express that said it would be one to two days. Um, when I got on UPS's website to overnight it through UPS was triple the cost. And so I just sent it. <laughs> because I'm not gonna eat that cost and so there's not much else to do today I do plan on doing a bunch of white toner stuff tomorrow so make sure you come back to see that I'm gonna do some hats and some shirts I'm trying to get those projects wrapped up so I can get some money, get them shipped off, and be done with them. So, other than that, well, that's really it. It's five o'clock, so probably call it an early night. If you have any questions about what I do, why I do it, how I do it, etc., leave those questions down in the comments. Thank you, Cam, for editing the video. Really appreciate you. If you guys want to support the channel, there's links in the description that you can do so. But we just appreciate you being here. As always, We'll see you in tomorrow's vlog. Print fam. Oh, shit.